Today's episode is filmed at the Graduate Knoxville, your game day headquarters in one of the coolest hotels downtown. Be sure to go check them out. Their links will be at the top of the description. Big thank you again to the Graduate Knoxville for sponsoring today's episode. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the O'Reilly Show. This is episode five, and we're back here at the Graduate Hotel. It might look a little bit different today. We're missing O, the O to the O'Reilly. Um, but that's because life of a student athlete, we talked about that last week. Things come up and he couldn't make it, but lo and behold, we have Gus Hill. Welcome. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Good. And Gus Hill plays on the football team as well. He's an offensive lineman. Um, where are you from? I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee. Tennessee kid. Yes, And have you always been a Tennessee fan, grown up, born and raised? I grew up kind of an Auburn fan. Wow. And then kind of in high school, I switched over to Tennessee okay. fan. But you've lived in Tennessee your whole, whole life? Whole life. And then what drew you to Auburn? Uh, a bunch of my family went there and graduated okay. from there. So it was just kind of like whole family, Okay. Auburn fans. Nice. So this week it's going to be a little bit different just because, Gus, you aren't the face of Tennessee football. Mm -hmm. You don't get in every single game. But like we said, life of a student athlete, there's people behind the scenes that work just as hard and even harder as the people that get all the attention. So offensive line, you're on the scout team. Tell me a little bit about what your week looks like. So uh, do everything the normal team does. Yes. Uh, we work out more, like more often okay. than the older guys. So we work out four times a week. Uh, they work out three, I believe. Okay. And then we go through practice the same. Mm -hmm. We do all the eating the same. Yeah. It's just who plays on Saturday. Yeah. And what are some of the challenges that that comes with? Like you're putting in all that work, you're going against the starters, and then you're not able to showcase it on Saturdays, but you're helping the team be the best version of themselves. So what are some of those challenges that you face? So like some mental challenges too is like you just you know you're not gonna play mm -hmm. on Saturday, especially the bigger games. Yeah. So it kinda like takes a toll on you. Yeah. But at the same time, like we know that like we're not really running our plays, we're running the other team's yes. plays. So we just run out there and hit people and yeah. it gives a chance to yeah. like get better for next year. So offensive line you're going against the D line, obviously yes. our starting D line. Who's the hardest person to guard right now? Uh for me personally, I'd say Tyler. Tyler Barron. Yes. Yeah, he's been on fire. Yeah. So speaking of the game, obviously, a dub, UTSA, oh, nice yeah. dub. Do you feel like there was any transition during the week that had you guys in a better momentum going into the game? How was the week preparation? Uh, Tuesday, I just feel like we came out and like we were, everybody's fired up. Mm -hmm. Like you know, we came from that loss from Florida, so yeah. no one wants to do that again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so like the scout guys, the, the main guys, yeah. like we we're all just flying around, hitting yeah. people, and the energy was just way different. Yeah, were you all having fun? Because last week, O talked a lot about how you kind of stray away from having fun, and that's when you aren't successful. So yes. was it more of a fun week? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then speaking of Tuesday coming in, I have uh, something what Joe Milton said about you guys. So okay. he said, I just want to give a shout out to the young guys. Offensive scout team, defensive scout team, when your opportunity shows up, you want to be ready for the moment. So Joe sent you all that text before the week. Do you think that had any impact on how you guys went out there? Uh, definitely. Like the, these smaller games, mm -hmm. we think we're gonna like have a chance to play towards the end. Yeah. So we're always like trying to mentally prepare ourselves in the meeting rooms. Yes. Definitely. But come out and still like practice hard, play yeah. hard, just be physically ready yeah. that like time comes. Yeah. And then how do you stay ready? How do you lock in and stay ready throughout the whole entire game? It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's hard, especially in that sport it's so mm -hmm. fast pace so that is very difficult yes yeah so let's talk a little bit about South Carolina Kay. I know UTSA that was in the past last year so you're a redshirt freshman right yes ma last year were you at South Carolina I did not travel you there. did not travel so how do you think this week is going to look for you guys practice wise the energy all of that uh energy is definitely going to be high mm -hmm. like really high that's our first SEC home right yes yes and I don't know, Coach Hype always talks about like the next play, the yeah. next game. So he doesn't like want us to talk about how the, yeah. last year's South Carolina game. Okay. You're, oh, so you're not gonna, you haven't talked about it. We have not. Okay. We said one thing about it. And that's all that we weren't gonna talk about it. Okay. But yeah, like the, I think the energy already like on Sunday is really high about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So can't wait for like what the week holds. Oh yeah, and then I heard that Spencer Rattler in one of his press conferences said that he is going to outwork his competition throughout the week. <laughs> so that's just a testament to you guys of what you guys need to, how you need to challenge mm -hmm. the defense this week in practice. But 
What are you What are you most looking forward to about South Carolina? Uh, well, it's the first SEC home yeah. game. So. It's at seven thirty. I want to say. So night in New Orleans. Night, the night <laughs> games are, are crazy. They are awesome. And yeah, I, I don't know. The first SEC home game is gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. like the, these smaller games have been cool, mm -hmm. but the fans show out a lot more. Definitely. So I just like that part of it. I'm really oh, looking forward yeah, to running for through sure. the T again. Oh yeah. Yeah, speak to that, running through the tee. Last week you guys weren't able to do it. Mm -hmm. You guys were able to do it this week. There wasn't a weather delay. How is the tradition of running through that tee? It's it's probably one of the best traditions in college football, yeah. I have to say so. Um, you you run out and you got 101,000 people True. screaming at you. Yes. And it's, it's to me it's like one of the best things yes. that you can do. Yeah. If you don't if y'all didn't watch the game if you didn't hear about it, that was their eighth sold out stadium in a row which is awesome, like we said last week, it's not even it's not even SEC and they're getting sold mm -hmm. out. I think South Carolina's already sold out. Sold out. So Tennessee fans, y'all show up every single week. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you're a younger guy, mm -hmm. scout team. Who do you look up to on the offensive line? Who do you shape your game around? Uh, I say there's two aspects too, like uh, Sprads is a big one. Okay. I look up to him, like his physicality to the game. Okay. He's like, he's always, Getting bumps and bruises, but oh, he still goes sure. there and hit people really hard. Yeah. But then, like mentally, kind of looked at like Cooper, PB, okay. and just like their like knowledge of the game is okay. so like high, high above yeah. like everybody else's. Yeah. So I really looked up to them like mentally, trying to get to that position. Okay. And who's the funniest? Because <laughs> O seems to think they have the funniest room. Okay. The whole, funniest out of all the teams. Definitely funniest not. position. Okay. Who is the funniest position group? O line. O line, but yes. who's the, who makes it funny? Uh, John Campbell's really funny. Okay, Sprad, Waffle House. Yeah. If you don't know Waffle House, he loves Waffle House. Okay, I can see how he's the funniest. Sprads is pretty funny. Uh, another young dude who's really funny is like mm -hmm. uh, Bison. Okay. Uh, and Larry. Okay. They're two two young guys, but there's just always banter between us, okay. the coaches. Definitely. It's always a good time. Y'all talk trash to the starting defensive line. Oh, every day. Every day. Yeah. Push them every they single time. Try to fight us, yeah. but <laughs> it's all it's all love at the end of the day. Yeah. But we get under skin sometimes. Yeah, and you guys, yeah, you guys are making them better mm -hmm. every single day. So Tennessee kid, do your fa does your family come to all the games? What does every it mean day. to be from Tennessee, playing for Tennessee? You grew up watching the Vols. What does that mean to you? Uh. It means a lot, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's like the mental side of like not playing and stuff yeah. hurts. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, my family's up here. I have friends mm -hmm. that are coming every game, okay. texting me like, "Hey, I'm gonna look for you" and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And that like really pits my spirits up. Okay. And just having like people watch me, send me pictures of me on TV yeah. and stuff like that. It's really awesome. Awesome. And so, out of your two years here, what has been your most fun game or favorite game to be a part of, to prepare for any of that? Uh, favorite game has probably been the Bama game. Last year. Last year's Bama game. Yeah. That was really like just a preparation for it. Mm -hmm. That was really fun. I, UT Martin last year mm -hmm. was my first game I played in. Oh, nice. So that was that was a lot of fun. And then the Orange Bowl, I would say, is probably Okay, the, why, why was the Orange, like, obviously just, we won. We're just in Miami. <laughs> the, like, just the atmosphere of, of it was, like, really nice. Yeah. Playing in the, like, first... Uh, NFL stadium I played in. Okay, cool. So it's just like everything about it was, okay. was awesome. Nice. And so speak to the Orange Bowl. How does that week look for you guys when you guys are all out there? Are you guys, you're out there for a whole week, right? Whole Preparing week. for the game. Okay, yeah, speak to that. So last year at the Orange Bowl, we, I left Christmas morning. So wow. flew to Miami. Okay. And then we have meetings in the morning. Okay. We'll go to practice. Mm -hmm and meetings in the afternoon. Gotcha. We have a little downtime, then dinner meetings again. Mm -hmm. And then we get like the rest of the night off around okay. like seven-ish. Yeah. So we like go out and not party, mm -hmm. but just go explore Miami yeah. and that was a lot of fun. Okay, downtime. O talks a lot about he, how he plays the game. What do you do to take your mind off football? I know you're getting beat up at practice, mm -hmm. it's rough. What do you do outside of practice to take your mind off of it? Uh, I like to go to nature, just go out, go fish, go do fish. something like that. Okay. That's like, just takes me like away from football okay. or just play some video games. Okay. Do you fish on our river out here? I have before. Okay. It's not the best. I just go to ponds and stuff. I know nothing about fishing. <laughs> so what kind of fish do you catch? Uh, catfish, bass, okay. cr crappie, bluegill, 
Nice. That's about anything. So you're just a real southern boy. <laughs> Born and raised. Do you do anything else in nature? I hunt. Okay, what do you hunt? Deer. Deer. Deer, okay. dove, turkey, mm -hmm. ducks, okay. about and, everything. And do you go home to do that? Yes, ma'am. How far is Fayetteville? Or Three, what is it? What is Fayetteville. Fayetteville, okay. Three and a half hours. Okay, how often do you get to go? Uh, so most of like SEC away games, I don't travel. Okay, gotcha. So those weekends I did go home. And then you can watch And then I, I watch the game, I go hunt. Okay. So always a good nice. time. Nice. Awesome. That's so cool. That's must be awesome that your family is so close because being far away, mm -hmm. I get homesick. So do you get to go home for, if you're sick or something, you can go right home, hang yeah, out with the family? I could. Yep. Nice. Okay. We're going to play a small game. Okay. So social media is big for the boys. <laughs> And a lot of these players, they post with some crazy captions. Okay. So I'm going to read you some captions of some of the players, and you're going to try and guess, number one, who said the caption, and then number two, we're going to try and dissect what they mean. Okay? <laughs> so let me get some of, the, some of them out. Okay. First off, this might, be, this might give some of it away, but this player said, got to stay boss because my role important. I gotta stay a boss. Gotta stay a boss. Joe? Yes. Okay. Joe Millen, yes. He posted some of his SEC pictures, but he's a boss. He's a big man in charge. <laughs> Speaking of Joe, first play. I feel like y'all came out with a different energy mm -hmm. after that first play. What was going through your mind when he was, was it 80 yards? Yes. Yes. What was going through your mind? Like, what worked on that play that you saw? Uh... It was a tackle pull play. Okay. And going into the game, we, we kind of knew what we're going to run first okay. play. So I'm sitting there watching it, and I just see that hole open up okay. that O-line did, and just Joe running. Every, it, it and was, everyone ran Yeah, everybody's everyone's, running. It yes. was just like first play, you don't really expect that, I'd electric. say. Yeah. But that was really electric. Yeah. And then I've talked to O about sudden change in practice. So – Sudden change works for you guys, too. You guys might be chilling to the side, and then they have you run something. Mm -hmm. How does that work for you guys? And then also you're trying to run other teams' plays. So how do you implement sudden change into a scout team? So each morning before we go out to practice, we'll mm -hmm. watch the other team's film. Gotcha. And we'll learn how their O-line plays. Okay. So 30 minutes before practice, we're trying to get some of their techniques down mm -hmm. and how they do certain blocking. So that's a really big change to what we're used to. Okay. And then we go out and practice, and we'll run 40 different plays, 50 different plays. Mm -hmm. And each one's a new play that we've never ran before, before, never seen before. So we're just trying to get that down. Like okay. That's the sudden change, I would say. Okay. So our team knows, our, knows your offensive plays, knows your defensive plays, and they can perfect that. Mm -hmm. But every single week you're challenging them while you're challenging yourself because you're learning – another team's philosophy and mm -hmm. you're having to translate that immediately into practice that must be real tough yes. that's not you guys don't get enough credit if I'm going to be honest because yeah. imagine I don't I can't imagine that learning it every single week who so far that you've played has the most complicated offense that you've had to hmm. imitate I wouldn't <sighs> maybe Florida okay but some of the smaller schools we play, yeah, like Austin P, for mm -hmm. example, they're it's not hard to imitate them. Gotcha. But their level of playing is not where we are. Okay. So it's not like we we dull it down to look like them. Yeah. But how they play, it's just not as athletic as some of the people. Some yeah. of okay. our, our guys. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, moving on. Next caption, <laughs> Mr. Barbecue Chicken. <laughs> There's no context. Actually, I can. He's catching a pass in the end zone, Mr. Barbecue Chicken. Huh. So receiver, I'll give you that. Who do you think named it, Mr. Barbecue Chicken? Callie. No. no. Re like receiver, receiver. Receiver. Man. Five. Dante. No, I it's Ramel. Ramel. Yes. I don't, <laughs> is, do you know anything about Mr. Barbecue Chicken? I have no Because I have no idea, but he named his caption that. Okay, next one. Wizard 101 with the boys. And the emoji is a wizard. 
You ha you already said his name, if that gives you some of a hint. Oh, what did I say already? It's not Callie, is it? It is. It's Callie? Yes. Okay. Mr. Or he said, Wizard 101 with the boys. Do you know anything about the wizards? <laughs> but he's walking on Vol Walk, and he's a wizard, apparently. <laughs> okay. Next one, you go against him in practice. Okay. I can't slow down. I'm cutting the brake line. Tyler. Yes. Yes. You know that I one. I remember seeing that Okay. One. I don't really understand. I can't slow down. I'm okay, well, he cut his brakes, so he can't slow down. Okay, He's that's really good. That's a, that's, I'll rate that <laughs> caption a, a good eight. That's pretty good. Another person you you don't go against him, actually. You said you kind of imitate your game. Profolic in this existence is my only mission. Sprat. <laughs> How do you guess that so fast? He's sitting on a Gatorade cooler. Shocker. Yeah, and that's his caption. Okay, next one. I got some cards that you dare pull. You block for him. If you, if you, yeah. Yeah. If that makes sense. I got some cards that you dare pull. He's high fiving a player that plays the same position as him. D sound. Yes. Okay. How do you know? Do you see these, or are you just? <laughs> yeah, I see some Okay, of them. some of them. Okay, next person. Never stop learning, because life never stops teaching. I really like that one. With a rocket emoji. Oh, I saw that one, too. Um, can I get a hint on this one? The hint will give it completely away. Okay. Um, actually, I, he, he was one of the people who already mentioned. But I, I like this caption. Never stop learning, because life never stops teaching. Joe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, you're like... Four for five right now. <laughs> okay. Where I'm from, you you take your jersey off, grow up, and you'll be the coach. <laughs> it's a not a football related picture, but the caption says jersey off, grow up, you'll be the coach. Offense or defense? He plays defense. No. He doesn't start. He doesn't start? No, he does not start. Oh. I have no idea. Tyree. <laughs> Tyree, he said, where I'm from, you take your jersey off, grow up, you'll be the coach. Okay. Okay, another defensive player. Letting the hustle do the talking, which I really like because I don't like trash talk. Mm -hmm. I just like letting your work show. But defense, this one's not giving, it's not, I, there's not very many hints I can give to who this is. You just got to give a wild guess. Uh, Tank. No. No. Nico. Okay. Yeah. I'd see that one. Okay. Couple more. Calm before the storm. Then, he says, the word Zen refers to the ability to remain calm and relax in the face of difficulty. Another great caption. You've mentioned him today already, but you didn't get it. You didn't guess correct. Oh, man. Offense. Receiver. Yes. Who did I, golly. Calm before the storm. The word zen refers to the ability to remain calm and relax in the face of difficulty. I remember who I guessed. Receiver. Mm. Five, four, three. Dante. Yes, it's okay. a good job. Okay, we'll do two more. Okay. I'm trying to win. I ain't trying to see no tie. I ain't trying to put no suit on. Mel. Hmm? Mel? No. Special teams. Special teams? I'm trying to win. I ain't trying to see no tie. I ain't trying to put no suit on. I just want to know where you guys find your D. captions. Yes. Okay. Wow. You must be on social media a lot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> last one, last one. The trimmest. I think that's how you say it. The trimmest with a gorilla emoji. The trimmest, the trimmest, don't know. Offense. Of line. <laughs> Who of your? Either Sprads or John Campbell. Yes. John, John Campbell. Campbell. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so Fair. you got one, two, three, four, five, six out of about seven. Out of about ten. That's pretty good. Nice. <laughs> All right. So you start with South Carolina tomorrow. Yes. So you're going to go in 
you'll learn what type of offense they run. Yes. And you'll imitate that. Yes. Okay. So Tuesdays are first like padded practice. Padded practice. So Tuesdays when we do all that. Okay. So, so what's your schedule look like tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll go in, watch the game, go like corrections over it. Okay. And then we'll do like a stretch and run. Okay. Just get everybody loose again. Yeah. And then tomorrow night we'll go in and install our plays. Okay. And go do a walkthrough of that. And that's. Okay. And do you know anything all about South Carolina before you get into it? Or when Coach Hype said we're not talking about them, <laughs> y'all really aren't talking about yeah. them. Just not. Just I'll find out tomorrow what they do, okay. but that's about it. Well, I appreciate you coming on the yes, show. Thank you for having me. I appreciate what you do for the team, and there's so many college players out there that are in the same position as you that don't get the spotlight but put in just as much work or more, and that's the realities of being a student athlete. It's a blessing to be in athletics, and I just really appreciate Absolutely. what you do. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of The O'Reilly Show. We have Gus Hill. Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.